entering another dimension. A dimension of creative artistry, sound, and musicology. You have entered the inner court. Come journey with us as we explore the inner workings of the music industry. Your hosts for this journey are Greg Pearson and Carl B. Phillips. You are now in the studio at Interport Live. Hi, I'm Greg G. Pearson. And I'm Carl B. Phillips. And we welcome you to In the Studio at Intercourt Live. This is our weekly show aired that airs every Monday at every Monday. 7 p.m. Every Monday. Every Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on the Intercourt TV YouTube channel. Guess what, Greg? You can also watch us on the Roku TV on Right Now Praise channel or watch any of our past shows anytime you want on the Intercourt TV YouTube channel. Wow. And we sh- I can give a shout out to uh, Pastors Gerald and Carol Irving for the opportunity to be on the Right Now Praise channel. TV channel. So we're asking you to please subscribe to this channel. Please, please, please subscribe and like and comment below. We, we really love your comments because we want to know what you think of the show and also hit the notification bell so you won't miss a show. So Carl, what's happening on today's show? On today's show, my nephew, I'm so honored that he agreed oh, wow. to come be a part of, you know, yeah. I'm at that age now, I'm just unk everybody, but this young man I really would claim, his name is Jay Murray, he's a new gospel artist, we'll be talking to um, Jay about his um, releases, new releases, and we're going to also see a video from him. Okay, that sounds great. Again, call somebody, let them know that Intercourt Live is on the air. So we're asking you to stay tuned, and we'll be right back back. after these messages. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Greg Pearson. And I'm Carl B. Phillips. Greg, you're yes. international now. We are international. International. We're so happy to be one of the media sponsors for the International Gospel Music Summit, which is going to be happening in the UK on October 8th. UK? In the UK, October 8th and October 9th, 2021 in London, England. London, England. We're oh, so God. excited. Shout out to my friend. Carol Crawford. Thank you so much, Carol, for inviting us to be a part, to be one of the sponsors of this. So you guys, stay tuned here. We have a lot of the artists that are going to be participating in the International Gospel Music Summit. We're going to be interviewing them, some of them from the um, UK, some of them from the USA. So again, uh, International Gospel Music Summit, you can find them on Facebook, and we are these... What are uh, we doing? We are the media sponsors. The media sponsors in, a, in the studio, in a court live... Our guest today is Jay Murray. He is a Detroit native who defies being pigeonholed and celebrates the fact that gospel music promotes peace, love, joy, and hope in a variety of styles. Jay began singing at the age of two and now he's a recording artist after releasing two singles in the past year. Two singles? Two singles in the past year. He's doing it. He's doing it big. Yes, Please sir. welcome my nephew, Jay yeah. Murray. Jay Murray. Yeah. What's, up? What's up, Jay? What's going on? So, Jay, you have a rich musical legacy starting with your grandmother, Ann Murray, and your dad, James Murray. Did you feel any pressure in carrying on that legacy? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Uh, a lot of people expected me to following my dad's footsteps and um, of course I think I sound like him when I sing so it's that pressure they say oh you sound like your dad and and uh, your grandmother was such a great woman your dad is or was such a great man so um, I feel that pressure all the time um, but my mom uh, 
Uh, she said something the other day. She said, you're 12 feet tall because I'm standing on my dad's shoulders. My dad was six feet and I'm six feet. So okay. she said that oh, I'm that's standing. pretty smart. Yeah, she yeah. put it in that perspective for me. So wow. that uh, definitely calms my nerves a little bit <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to feeling the pressure. So Wow. <laughs> so it says you started singing at two years old. What, what was your first song? What was my first song? Uh, that's what my mom said. I remember. <laughs> what was his first song? <laughs> his right, first Crystal. Song? Is that Crystal back there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Crystal. Hey, Crystal. Uh, he that believeth uh, in the Father and Son shall have it. So she said, I used to say, he bad, but be bad. <laughs> <laughs> and not he that believeth. He so, that believeth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, that was my, I guess that's the song I like to sing around the house. So. <laughs> And you started leading praise and worship at 10 years old and directing the choir at 17. Yes. My goodness. What gave you that desire to just go into the music arena? Um, I want to say I kind of didn't have a choice. Uh, my dad, he threw me on the youth praise team first. Um, and then he started letting me lead devotion at church. So um, I would always sing Joy Bells. That's the only song he used to let me sing when I first started leading devotion was Joy Bells. I sing it. In the car. Huh? Sing it. Joy Bells keep ringing in my soul. Oh, Joy Bells keep ringing in my soul. Uh, let's see. All right. <laughs> he's trying to make me sing. He's trying to make me sing. We ain't done. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm an uncle. <laughs> Uncle's rule. No, I also have to do all this to make you're okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I would be in the car like that. Can I please sing something else? And he would be like, no, you're going to sing Joy Bells. You're going to get this song down before you sing anything else. I'm like, I got it, though. <laughs> but, so I started leading a devotion, singing on the youth praise team, and then he allowed me to start singing with the regular adult praise team. Um, so I would lead songs with them, and then eventually um, he let me direct the choir, direct the youth choir. He put me over the youth choir at the church that he was serving at. So it's been a long time. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you've recently transitioned to Grady Emanuel with a lot of great singers. Yes. yes. How is that pressure, and how do you find your way amongst so many great singers at Grady Emanuel? I'm going to say it was very nerve-wracking. Um, in Detroit, we kind of get comfortable because I think that we're spoiled. We got so many great singers in the city of Detroit. So uh, to be that close to the legendary Clark sisters, you got Kiera Sheard that goes there as well. Um, that pressure was great. However, um, I believe that I can do all things through Christ. That's yeah, just me. There you go. So I just continued on. And they allowed me to um, serve as one of the praise and worship leaders there at Greater Emmanuel and one of the choir members. So um, it's a great learning experience to be so close to those legends. You learn so much, and I just try to take in as much as I can. But it's an amazing experience being around so many great legends. Wow. And, you know, and also uh, Bishop Sherrod is an amazing pastor. Absolutely. Also. Yes. He amazing. Yes, he is. Well, we are talking to Detroit gospel artist Jay Murray. When we return, we're going to talk to Jay about his father, the late James Murray. We'll be right back. This is Greg Pearson, and you are listening to my debut release, Your Deliverance. Your Deliverance is available for downloading and streaming on all digital platforms. And be sure to watch our video on the Inner Court TV YouTube channel. And remember, your deliverance is in your praise. I'm Carl B. Phillips. This is my new single. It's available now on all digital outlets. Go get your copy right now because you are good enough for God. Welcome back to In the Studio of Intercourt Live. I'm Carl B. Phillips. And I'm Greg Pearson. And we're talking with my nephew, Jay Murray. Your mom, Crystal, is another great example of strength. Talk about your relationship with your mom. My relationship with my mom is great. Uh, even now, now that my dad is gone, we have gotten so much closer. 
um, because it's just me and her in the house. Uh, my brother, he lives, um, he has an apartment. So it's just me and my mom in the house. And now we got a dog, uh, Chloe. So um, we're so close. What kind of dog is it? She is a Yorkie and a Jack Russell mix. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, she's a small little thing. <laughs> she's so small, but she is so energetic. From the moment she wakes up, she's licking my face and running around the house, and she's just ready to go. So uh, she definitely keeps us going, and I think my mom will agree on that as well. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, my wife has one of them little mixed dogs, you know. <laughs> you know, I actually love to kick it and watch it go fly across oh, the okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> it, it takes it real well. <laughs> you know what? Same with my dog. It's, it's not intentional. She's so small and yeah. I'm so tall, so I'm just... Yeah, right. Straight. So I'll just be walking around, it's like, eh, and I'm like, oh, I'm you stepped on the dog. Yeah, I done stepped on her, I kicked her or something like the other night. I was in the bed, and, you know, I'm just turning over. I kicked my leg out, and I kicked her off the bed. <laughs> like, I didn't know you were there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to put you on the spot. Okay. I'm going to have you sing a song. Tell me who is your favorite R&B male vocalist? Hmm. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say Tank, but I probably can't sing Tank. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna say Tank is one of your favorites? Tank is one of my favorites. Um, who else? My lord. Uh, Marvin Gaye, I like Marvin Gaye. Um, oh, sing for us, brother, brother. See, I'm bad with words. Oh, all right. So, <laughs> so like let's, let's, let's do this. That's the only line I know. <laughs> so let's do this. If, if you were to impersonate Marvin Gaye singing a Fred Hammond song, singing No Weapon, what would that sound like? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good with impersonations, but I'll sing the song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if Tank was singing No Weapon, what do you think it would sound like? Uh, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. It won't work. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It won't work. Said God will do what he said he would do. Just stand on his word and he will come through. Said God will do just what he said he would do. Just stand on his word and he will come through. You're going to make me go jump on the piano. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I closed my eyes and I was I know, he, he was, was right in the way. He was gone. He was gone. He was gone. No weapon for him against me. <laughs> we are talking with my nephew, Jay Murray, yeah. and he just took us to worship yeah. real quick. That's, that's what worshipers do, right. Greg. They just do that without any music. Without yeah. music. Without music, that's what they do. And the thing is, is that I can hear his dad. Yeah. He's just all, all up all in All over him. All over him. All over him. I can't him. help it. It's, it's, <laughs> that was your studio record. Huh? Yeah, I'll be in the studio recording, and I'm like, Oh, I sound like my dad. Like, <laughs> it, it's all good. We are talking with Jay Murray. When we return, we're going to talk to Jay about his two singles and what's next for him. And now it's time for our intrinsic brain. In the last two years, God has transcended several powerful and greatly anointed artists and musicians from work to reward. God allowed us to experience the awesome gifts and the magnificent pouring of the Holy Spirit upon their lives. And like David, they will use their gifts greatly to break chains and yokes will be destroyed and the anointing will fall on us. The sound of victory has been planted in our environment and in our ears and even in our hearts. And each of us can name several of them that have made this transition. And some made their transition without a long notification. But the burden of their departure can possibly knock even the wind out of us. Artists, I'm speaking to you because you have the power to secure one burden that will not plague your loved ones when the situation happens. 
and that is called life insurance. If not life insurance, then will you consider death insurance, which covers only the burial expense? The missing of your presence alone can be heartbreaking. Allow your family to grieve without an extra burden. And by the way, did you know that your musician's union covers this expense in your plan? And if you would like to know more about what your musician union's benefits are, please reach out to Bishop Andre Woods and do your family a favor and show your love beyond life. Now this is Elder April Berry, AKA Elder Diva Style. And the court, the inner court, is in session. Welcome back to Inner Court Live. We have the pleasure of having Jay Murray in the studio with us, and his mom is back there supporting. Hey, Krista. She said she's not coming on camera. <laughs> she got her scully on. All right. All right. <laughs> she's under the. <laughs> Mother Michigan don't play. <laughs> so, so, Jay, your latest single, Have Your Way, came out this year. Yes. Tell us about that song. Who worked with you and all that good stuff. Sure. So I actually wrote the song back in April of 2020. Um, my brother, Bernard Carter, who produced the single, he sent me a track. And um, I immediately, I heard something and um, I wanted to change the end. So uh, I told him what I heard so that he could change it. And um, basically... Um, I'm going to go back to March of 2020 if I can. Yeah. Um, I was sick, really sick, and my mom can attest to this. Um, I believe it was COVID. I was uh, sick with a fever for about 10 days. No yeah. taste or smell. Um, difficulty breathing. Unfortunately, um, I went to get tested twice and they denied me. Um, however, I do believe it was COVID because right after my mom and my dad got sick with COVID. So um, I remember laying in the bed. I texted my mom and I said, Mom, I told God I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. That's what I told her. And um, I wanted to shake that spirit off of me, so I started praying. I was in my room. I said, God, I need your presence. I need you here. Have your way in me, Lord God. If you bring me out of this, I know what you told me to do. I was, I'm saying yes to your will. I'm saying yes to your way. Wow. So when it came time for Bernard to send me that track, um, God told me to write exactly what I said to him when I was sick. Wow. So. Um, that's how Have Your Way came about. I worked with Bernard Carter, who produced it. He also did Keys, uh, Aux, um, Jeremy Turrentine played drums. He also mixed and mastered the single. Who else did I have? Uh, my mind just went blank. Oh, I had, <laughs> I had, I had Grant, Grant, Grant Gabriel, who did an amazing job on lead guitar, and also John uh, Level, I believe that's his last name, who played bass. Um, I have brought in some friends, the same background, Kiwana Norwood, uh, Christopher Parker, and they demolished the record. And I'm so grateful for them to lend their gifts to me. Um, and that's how the single came about. Wow. So, so yeah. what's <laughs> next for Jay Murray? I'm working on an EP. Okay. Um, I'm hoping to have it done by my birthday in September. Um, however, that's kind of a trying month for me because uh, my dad passed away the day after my birthday on last year. So mm. hopefully, um, it's in the works. I'll have that EP done, at least five songs, and then I'll do another concert, uh, Laura Willing. Um, so that's what I have planned next. Wow. Okay. Yes. So Tell us uh, how we, can we get your music and how we can get in contact with you, all that good stuff. Absolutely. So my music is available everywhere, iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music. Buy it, don't stream it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Streaming is a piece of a penny. Yes, it's, it's not a even a whole penny. A piece of a penny. A piece of a penny. Um, he done learn quickly. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Look at your results. I got, I got 100 stream and I made a penny. You made a, that's it. <laughs> that's it. So, um, title, where else? Uh, Deezer, Amazon, wherever you can get music. It's there. It's also on YouTube. However, go on iTunes and buy it, and also go on Amazon Music and buy so it. So if somebody wants to book you, how can they reach you? Uh, you can reach me at jmurrayministries at gmail.com. All right. So, Jay, I want to publicly say that I'm so proud of you. Thank you. And what you're doing musically, you so what much. you're doing just in life. I'm excited for you. You know your uncle's got your back. Yes, what, I know. Yeah, we Thank got your back. Crystal, so we, you know we love you. 
and we're, we're praying for you. Uh, take a moment now and introduce the video we're about to watch. Yeah, so this video is from a clip from a concert from last year, Jay Murray, The Encounter, which is also on my YouTube channel. Where's the camera? Also on my YouTube channel. <laughs> That's your camera. Also on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so this song is It Will Be Done by J.J. Harris. I absolutely love this song. This is one of my favorite songs to sing, to drive. So I hope you enjoy. One more time, Jay Murray. Back in the studio at Intercourt Live, we just watched the video from my nephew, Jay Murray. Uh, again, I had the chance to watch the whole concert. I was so proud of Jay and what he uh, did in the, the, the virtual concert and excited that he stopped by today to hang out with us. Yeah, he is a real lively talent, and and he just he's just his dad. All over again. Yes, he is. Yeah, yes, I had the I had the pleasure of mm -hmm. working with his dad. He did. Uh, he's the lead on uh, my single "Your Deliverance." He's done work for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and to see his son walking in his footsteps is just it's just fantastic. And I just want uh, Jay to know that I am a fan now. Yay. I am a yeah. fan. <laughs> so um, we're going to post Jay's social media connections right on the screen below so you can uh, catch up with Jay. April, 
April Elder April Berry. Great information this week from yeah, you. Thank that you. Was really good. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much. I hope each artist takes to heart um, the artist's cadence and will use it to their benefit. Yes, most you definitely. Know? Yeah, you most know? Definitely. And so I have to put on the sunglasses. All righty. Because these are Marcus Devine sunglasses. Who are they? they I don't are, think I've seen that these style. These are wonderful oh. sunglasses by uh, the MAG, the, okay. or the partner of uh, MAG, yeah. Marcus Devine. Oh. And I think you should purchase some Marcus Devine to go with your outfit. <laughs> Are they prescription? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I won't be right. Right. Not put them over I'll, your, I'll be like, over your <laughs> <laughs> But you know what Marcus told me, which is true, that you can see through um, each and every one of his sunglasses. They're designed for you to be able to see through them. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, okay. shout out to Marcus. Yeah, yeah. Marcus Heat Miser. Yeah. Divine. Well, again, we want to remind you to work like you don't need the money. Love like you've never been hurt. And dance like no one watching you. I'm Carl B. Phillips. And I'm Greg Pearson. And, and I'm Diva Style. And you're going to need the money. <laughs> <laughs>